That's so embarrassing. You embarrass your own damn self. Sean, calm down. But calm down. No, I'm calm. Calm, no, you, I'm you're, calm. you're being insulted. Calm. calm down. Calm. You're being insulted. I will not take it. Like, so why are you saying weird? Is it, is, it, is it about you? Is your decision? Just, no. Just, just say you want Why are you calling me weird? Calm down, you're doing this. Everything is not nice when it's somebody no, else. No, Somebody cannot say weird no. Is not an no. To you. you. Uh -uh. Everything you want to complain about, but when it's you, it's fine. Oh, you, you both never don't walk off. When I'm talking to you, having a conversation, no walk off. Now you want to walk off. That's and that's it. Uh, no problem. I'm speaking, I'm speaking out. I'm allowed to speak out. I'm not allowed to speak out. I'm speaking out. Everything you want to complain about is the thing that you're, you're doing. Wani and Sean don't they carry me go where I no no. Eh eh. After a peaceful one week, my sheep have said, okay, it's time to spice up some things. <laughs> Wani and Sean said they've been wanting to give us drama, and here we have it, guys. Wani said Sean is being weird. Sean said he does not like the fact, you know. Wani said he's acting weird. Wani apologized and walked away, okay. Why they were still having you know the back and forth the whole thing got sean pissed off so sean got pissed off because wani stood up and left and sean said f off that's the reason for this back and forth though <laughs> sean said why would you call me weird i take weird very offensive i have told you before the word weird is offensive to me don't say it to me anymore and wani is trying to explain that uh -uh. That weird is just like a normal thing we'll say, you know, that she doesn't see any big deal in it. And Sean said, no, you cannot tell me what I should find offensive or not. That she does not like the word weird. And to be honest, guys, the word weird can actually mean a lot of things. It can mean crazy. It can mean, you know, funny. It can mean strange, like it weird means a lot of things, okay? Iwani, on the other hand, is upset that Sean is raising his voice. Uh -uh. You can imagine Sean raising his voice because she said, Oh, you are being weird. Stop embarrassing me in front of people. Whenever we have an argument, you like to embarrass me, blah, blah, blah. And Sean was like, You cannot say something to me and expect me not to react. You yourself, you are the one that actually started the whole thing. If it did not start it, there will be no need for all this back and forth. Um, the whole back and forth kept going on. Handy, Handy was trying to like calm them down. Nobody was listening. Um, Wani now said, you are so embarrassing. Sean now said, oh, you are embarrassing your damn self. I'm like, hey. And immediately, Handy changed it for Sean and said, no, 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 no. I'm not going to take it. You people should stop all these things. I'm like, okay. My three chihuahuas. <laughs> what is really going on? Is there more? This person called this person weird. This person is saying that, oh, because I called you weird, they are raising your voice. The matter no reach for you to raise voice. Sean is saying you cannot tell me, you know, how to react to what you say or not. Handy is here saying that Sean is being disrespectful. But come to think of this whole thing. I love the bond. Wani and Handy share. But I would really appreciate if Handy will give Wani and Sean space to have their issue peacefully. How always inserting herself and, you know, picking side does not make any sense. Like, it doesn't make sense. I know she loves her sister, definitely. But sometimes her sister is actually at fault. Handy should just learn to stay out from their matter and let them have their back and forth. Wani kept saying, I'm not going to speak to you. Don't speak to me. I'm not going to speak to you. You know, people are here. Everybody is here. But you choose to raise your voice. You want everybody to know whenever we have an issue. If you cannot wait for us to speak later, then I'm not going to speak to you. I won't speak to you. I'm like, eh? Hey. So after the whole thing, they went to the garden. Okay, they still continue their back and forth, repeating what has been said before. Oh, you called me weird. I found it offensive. You apologize. But you are still trying to tell me that I don't have the right to be angry because you think the word weird is not insulting. Blah, blah, blah. One is angry that, you know, Sean is raising his voice and Sean said, you know, F out if you don't want to, you know, listen to me. But um, uh, it was just going back and forth, back and forth. That made me laugh is when, you know, Wani said, don't talk to me when you are angry. Whenever you are angry, your eyes are always wide open. I'm like, eh? Wani, 
are you sh are you sure of this thing you're saying sean said but your eyes are open all the time <laughs> look at what i need i say that sean's eyes is always open whenever he's angry have you guys seen wani's face whenever she's upset <laughs> Sean said, no, you are the one that her eyes are always open. It be like I said, Wani don't influence Sean, no. Because Sean has actually learned how to open his eyes whenever he's upset. <laughs> this my sheep is really not sheep in these days, oh. Guys, I'm not taking these two people seriously. Do you know why? Yesterday, of them were in the HOH condo. Wani told Sean that she's finding a way to create, you know, drama. Drama that will be reasonable, okay? <laughs> and also, yesterday, during the whole, you know, campaigning for votes, Sean mentioned that moving forward in the game, that I will try to, you know, spice up things and bring in some chaos here and there. That is why I'm not taking them serious. Because all this still, you called me weird. You tell you told me to F up. You are insulting. Like, you are embarrassing me. You are opening your eyes. You are raising your voice. Like, all these things, eh? You know, you know, jig. You know, jig. Because the same thing Wani is accusing Sean of doing is what she's actually doing. Wani says she doesn't like Sean raising his voice and opening eyes. That is what she does whenever she's upset, okay? Baby girl said that uh, Sean likes to, you know, embarrass her, you know, whenever they have conversation or whenever he's upset. If you did not make the guy upset in the first place, there will be no need for all this back and forth. Um, well, at the end of the day, they will be fine. Wani is telling Sean, don't scold me. If I have issues with you, stop raising your voice. Stop embarrassing me in the public. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. I'm like, okay, girl. If that is the case, then you have to stop doing things that will make Sean upset, right? If you don't like the boy raising his voice and, you know, doing some things, you'll be mindful of how you speak to him. And at the end of the day, these two individuals are two people that grew up in different country. Sean grew up in the UK. <laughs> and Wani in Nigeria. The words that will be offensive to a Nigerian person might not be the same to the person in the UK. Okay? Or the person that lived in the UK. Why the, pers the things that can make somebody in the UK upset? If you say it to a Nigerian person, the person could just, you know, overlook you. So I think, you Language know, difference is also playing a part. Anyway, in all of this, I really felt bad seeing Wani crying, you know, about the whole situation. She even had to go wear her glasses to cover her eyes and they still came back to finish up their conversation. Wani was saying that she has never been embarrassed like this. No guy has ever spoken to her the way Sean did. If Wani doesn't like the way Sean reacts whenever he's angry, then she should find a way to, you know, Avoid things that will make the guy upset, right? I think that's what lovers should do. But I don't know. This is my sheep. It'd be like saying, no, they sheep again. Because the way both of them were attacking each other, I'm like, are we still in this sheep? Where is that love and tenderness I saw in the first week? Where did it go? <laughs> hey, God, I beg go. Today of all day, I was so excited saying that, oh, my couple are matching. Because they were really wearing, you know, pink patterned outfits really really excited for them saying that ah my ship is matching you know all of a sudden we can't hear glass bows but anyways I, i'm sure they are fine i'm sure they will find a way to resolve you know the whole issue okay because at the end of the one is a loving girl okay because ah imagine being upset and you are still making food for the guy <laughs> Why Sean, on the other hand, was still waiting to collect his own food? So guys, drop your opinion concerning this gist.